What's up everyone, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from Hot Butcher for the World, and they're out of Chicago, Illinois, and this is their source, so they're calling this one a Mexican-style lager. It comes in at 4.75% alcohol by volume. No IBUs listed in time of review. This can is approximately three weeks old, and I wanna give a huge thanks and shout out once again to Hot Butcher for hooking me up with this one. I'll post a link in the description box of the beer mail boxing video I did that contains all the goodies they hooked me up with, and uh, just to be honest with you, right from the get-go, Mexican-style lagers, I don't usually gravitate towards them. It's not that I don't like them. It's just not something I typically drink. I've had, you know, um, most of the big ones and whatnot. So I'm interested to see what kind of twist that uh, Hot Butcher puts on the Mexican style lager. So this one is brewed with Tetnanger, Hort 9909, and YITI hops. Now, I don't know anything about Hort 9909 until I read it. On the label here, I had no idea they even existed, so I have no idea what they're trying to bring to the table. Tetnanger and YIT I've had in numerous beers. Um, they're tasting notes, crisp cracker, dried apricot, and sweet cereal. So we'll see if we get any of that stuff. Anyway, let's crack this one open, get it into the glass. Not using, using, not using, <laughs> hashtag proper glass, right? I like this other half, like lager glass, pilsner glass, whatever you want to call it. Um, I just like using them for lagers and whatnot, so we're using it today. So, it pours out very carbonated, and it looks like a lager. Crystal clear, has like a bright yellow kind of look to it. Uh, about a half finger to, I'd say, I'd say that's actually about, yeah, about a finger of a bright white fluffy looking head. That looks like your typical Pilsner. No, nothing more to say about the uh, appearance. Let's get a nose. Yeah, and it smells like a lager. Yeah, crackery. A little bit bready. They say, you know, crisp cracker and um, sweet cereal. Yeah, cereal grain, crackery, for sure. I'm getting like a little lemon lime tinge in here. <sighs> a little bit of earthiness, like a floral aspect to it as well. Doesn't smell like there's any off, you know, there's nothing in the aroma that would indicate any off flavors or anything. It smells like a typical lager, although a little bit more of the lemon lime presence. Maybe that's they're going for with the Mexican style instead of adding your own uh, lime. Maybe the, the, the hops are just, in, you know, putting it in there naturally. Anyway, let's get into it. Cheers, everybody, and thanks again to Hop Butcher. Yeah. It's de definitely tastes like a Mexican style lager of some sort. There's a little bit more hop character. Like I'm still getting that lemon lime kind of tinge to it. Here's what I'll say about it. First, body and mouthfeel. Body on this one, light body, like higher side of light body, 4.75%, I expect it. The mouthfeel really crisp and clean, very effervescent, spritzy. You know, a lot of carbonation, what you expect from the style. The body and mouthfeel, definitely within the realms of a Mexican style lager. The taste right at the forefront, I'm hit with that crackery uh, malt, you know, sensation, the cereal grain, a little bit of breadiness. As it passes through the palate, though, lemon lime zest, mid palate for me. There's a, just a, a zestiness that is kind of omnipresent. Maybe not omnipresent, but it starts like a third of the way through the palate, just sticks with me. This has a, a decent amount of sweetness up front, but as it passes through the palate, that zestiness and this Moderate, I'd say mild to moderate bitterness on the back end and a, and a dryness kind of just stops the, the sweetness, dead in its tracks, really. Yeah, finishes with a semi-dry, mild bitterness, not a lot of residual sweetness, um, infinitely drinkable for sure. Yeah, it's a good lager. Here's what I'll say, though. Going into this one, as I told you in the beginning, it's not a style I gravitate towards. So I'm going to give this one actually two marks. Uh, before we say that, though, I will say 4.75% drinks like a you know, so 5% lager. There's no indication of alcohol, so on and so forth. But I'm going to give this one two marks. I'm going to give this a mark from a, we'll just say a style uh, mark. And I would say for a Mexican style lager, you know, a craft version of this, I would say that this is like a good four out of five. Uh, maybe like a little bit higher, like a 4.105. I think they did a pretty good job with it. I think, it, you know, obviously they're putting their own twist on it. I think it's a little bit more hop forward. Now on the tasting notes, crisp cracker, yes. Dried apricot, I'm not getting any apricot whatsoever, and sweet cereal. For me, 
uh, replace the dried apricot with like this lemon lime zest. But I think stylistically they did a pretty good job with it for sure. Uh, but personal preference, it's just nothing that I would honestly buy again. Not that I bought it the first time around. Hot Butcher set up my way and I truly do appreciate it, but they want me to be honest with the reviews. I'm honest with the reviews. And for me, while this is good to my palate, it's just not something that I enjoy all that much. So, I'm going to be honest with my rating here. Like I said, four out of five for style, but personal enjoyment, I'm going to give Hop Witcher Sore. I'm going to give it a low 3.5 out of five, low 3.4 out of five. Got to be honest, I don't dislike this. I'm going to drink the rest of the can, and they sent me another one. I'll drink it at some point as well. But for me, it's just not a style I gravitate towards. It's like, I've had other uh, like Italian style pilsners from them and so on and so forth. Those are way more in my wheelhouse than this one. This one, I don't know. The, the, the characters to it just aren't for me uh, for the most part. I like the zesty like lemon lime thing, but like the base malt to a Mexican style lager and just like the finish and whatnot, it's just not something I'd gravitate towards again. So yeah, 3.4 out of 5 personal rating and uh, 4 out of 5 for stylistically. Um, this is the first hot butcher beer I think I gave a sub like 3.75. So uh, it's not a bad beer by any stretch of the imagination. Like I said, for the style, it's good. It's just not a style that I really enjoy all that much. So I um, have to be honest, 3.4 out of 5 is best I can do. Uh, price and availability, $12.99 a four-pack. Um, for the market as it is when it comes to craft loggers and craft pilsners, and pretty much in the range, uh, most of like the other half um, you know, loggers I'll buy and things of that nature will be $12 to $14 as well. So this is right in the wheelhouse. I prefer to see something like this, $10 a four-pack. That's just personal preference. There's some really good breweries here in the West New York area, like uh, Thin Man and Community Beer Works. They make a Pilsner, each of them, and I think it's like $9.99 a four-pack. That's like perfect for what I'm wanting. But $12.99 is not terrible in this market. And availability is Chicagoland. So if uh, you live in Chicago and you want a Mexican-style lager, a little bit more of hop character, lemon-lime zest already built into the beer itself, um, I'd say give this one a go. I think you might enjoy it. Uh, for me, though, like I said, not a huge fan of the style, so that's why it gets lower marks for me. But uh, yeah, I finally found a Hot Butcher beer that wasn't for me. It took a while, like a lot of beers from them, but this one just isn't doing it for me. But a 3.4 out of 5 is not a terrible score. It's just anything pretty much 3.5 and below I would never buy or want to even drink again for the most part. Um, when you're talking about personal preference, uh, and especially when you're talking about taking like the price into consideration, like I'll give you an example, like Genesee Cream Ale's super cheap. And I think I gave that one like a 3.25 or maybe like a three point, low 3.5 like this. But Jenny Cream Ale is also less than a dollar a can. So uh, when you take price price point into it, like Jenny Cream Ale is one that I go to as far as like a, you know, a cheap crusher. Um, but if that was, you know, $12 a four pack, I probably wouldn't buy it, honestly. So uh, yeah, that was Hot Butcher Sore, 3.4 out of five for personal preference, four out of five for style. If you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. I appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol. Huge thanks to Hot Butcher for hooking me up with all the beers they do, including this one, even though I don't like it. You can't like every beer from every brewery. I always say that there's going to be some misses for you, and this is a miss for me personally, but I know there's other people out there that love this one. So to each their own, as I always say. Anyway, to the next one. Cheers.